Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Braddy Bree and I love zines. And today I wanna to go behind the zines and talk about a zine that I made, why I made it, how I made it, and how I distributed it. It's called I Choose You. It's a zine that I made as a submission to an essay contest. You submitted a zine to an essay contest? Isn't that breaking the rules? Well, yeah, I totally broke the rules and the risk paid off because I won the essay contest. I won the essay contest. I won the essay contest. And the contest was called Moxie Skate Camp Essay Contest and it was for a ticket to skate camp. If you're not familiar with roller skating, there's a brand called Moxie and they host skate camps every year in California where I live and in Pennsylvania. And Moxie Skate Camp is a three-day camp where you learn pretty much everything about roller skating. You learn the basics of how to pump on a ramp, how to dance on skates, how to street skate, which is something that I'm more interested in. I'm interested in skating a aggressively. The skate camp is really cool because they teach you everything that you could possibly dream of wanting to do on eight wheels and I really wanted to go because that's something that I really love doing. I love to roller skate. That's one of my favorite hobbies. But the tickets to this skate camp were like $600. So I saw that they were hosting an essay contest and if you won this contest, you won a ticket to go to the skate camp. So it was like, oh my gosh, that's in the bag. I could write an essay for this. But then I had this bright idea, which was a risk. And is it a bright idea? Maybe it was a big idea. I don't know, maybe it wasn't that bright because it could have backfired on me and they could have been like, well, technically this is not an essay, so rejected. But instead of submitting an essay, I submitted this zine and it's answering the essay prompt just in zine format instead of essay format. So it was, it was a risk, it was a risk, but it worked out in my favor. I was able to show off my personality. I was able to sh explain why I wanted to go to the skate camp by answering their essay prompt. And I just wanted to talk about it. I wanted to be able to show people it because I feel like zines can do that you can break the rules with zines and maybe just maybe it'll pay off so without further ado let's go and read the zine so here is the zine it's called i choose you a zine by brie and this is in response to the moxie essay contest that was held back in march these are polaroids that my friend oe took of me when we were skating and it's kind of progress photos you can see me jump onto this ledge. I'm like learning how to grind. And the first picture is me in the air. Second picture is me almost making contact with the ledge. And then the third picture is me, me making contact with the ledge and grinding. And I chose the title I Choose You because I think roller skating has taught me how to choose myself. Like I've skated through breakups, I've skated through grief, I've skated through quarantine, and every single time it reminds me how much I enjoy roller skating and seeing my progress. It's taught me a lot about choosing myself, so that's why I chose that title. When you open it up, it has the essay prompt. thought it would be a good idea in the zine to introduce myself to whoever's judging this essay's essay zine <laughs> um, that is a polaroid of me and it says hi i'm brie and it has a bunch of information about me that i just thought would be fun and i do include the essay prompt in my zine because i want them to know that i'm not just dismissing their essay contest and being like no it's my way or the highway you're gonna read this freaking zine i wanted them to kind of understand that i'm still trying to follow the rules to some extent but i am trying to stand out so the essay prompt says well-being refers to a state of physical emotional and social satisfaction or happiness and encompasses a positive sense of health happiness and overall satisfaction with life it involves having a sense of purpose and meaning positive relationships and the ability to manage stress and handle life's challenges well-being also involves taking care of oneself physically mentally and emotionally through activities such as exercise, proper nutrition, and self-care. And it continues on the next page. It says, given the essay prompt, describe how roller skating has improved your personal state of well-being. And my way of answering this prompt is by breaking it down in four sections, which is going to be the next few pages. So the first way I'm going to describe how roller skating has improved my personal state of well-being is by one, I'm going to explain how roller skating challenges me. Two, roller skating improves my mental health. Three, roller skating gives me a boost of confidence. And four, roller skating builds community. And I thought that it would be cool to break it down as an intro so they know what they're getting into. So they know that I'm actually following the essay prompt and they're not confused by this. Because I know me submitting an, a zine as my essay 
could have been quickly dismissed. So I wanted to right up front, give them all the information and be like, hey, I'm not messing around with you. Like, this is serious. I'm at I'm answering the essay prompt and I'm going to prove it to you and I want you to keep reading because here are the reasons I'm going to explain the essay prompt and answer the essay prompt. So that's what I did and then here's a little collage I made of me roller skating so they know I'm not just some random person yanking their chain. I am a roller skater. I want to know more about roller skating. I want to go to this camp. So there's a collage there. I used stickers and pieces of some of my essay in the zine. I ripped it up. I printed out a copy of some of the pages and ripped it up and put it behind there as like a little treat to myself. It's like, hey, I did write an essay. You didn't get that, but it's there. It's behind this picture. <laughs> So the next page, it goes into the essay prompt and answering it. Just talk about how roller skating challenges me physically and mentally. On the next page, it goes into my second point, which is roller skating improves mental health. And I talk about how roller skating not only benefits you physically, but it also helps you with your state of mind. I talk about mental health a little bit here personally, but then I also make a general statement that being active alters your brain chemistry. It, it's, it can only benefit you. I say physical activity stimulates various brain chemicals that can leave you feeling happier, more relaxed, and even less anxious. When I work out by roller skating, I feel better about my appearance. I can see my abs now. That's not really true right now, but when the moment of me writing the zine, it was true, <laughs> which overall <laughs> improves my self-esteem and mental health in general. So I think that's really important. So I included it in how roller skating improves my personal state of being. Next page, this is point number three. And as you can see, it's a lot of collages of things that relate to the essay prompt, but also examples of how I am a skater. So I feel like I'm still answering the essay prompt, but I am showing a bit of my personality and I'm doing something that is visually stimulating. Number three, roller skating gives me confidence. And who is more confident than the mother? Who is more confident than RuPaul? So I thought that that was pretty cool. I found this in a um, I found this in a book, and I talk about that here. I say nothing feels quite as good as finally landing a trick you spent an hour. Or, sorry, it says spent hours learning. Sometimes it's an hour, sometimes it's longer, but nothing feels better than finally successfully landing that trick, whatever it is. Being able to see a trick through teaches me that I can do hard things. It may be scary, but once I do it, I feel unstoppable. And here it has examples of me building that confidence. <laughs> These are pictures of me in the process of doing a trick, just similar to the cover. It's the same day. I had just progressed a little bit. We spent hours skating and I finally was able to land this trick. And it says step one. Be nervous. Holy shit. Am I really going to jump on this scary block of concrete? Oh shit. I'm going to, I'm getting closer. Time to jump. Okay. 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 And it shows me approaching the ledge. I'm scared. Step two, F it. If I don't commit to this jump, I'll hurt myself. So just do it. You can do it. Bend your knees to your chest. F it. I can do it. It shows me midair. Haven't even made contact with the ledge yet, but I'm in the air already. I have to commit. There's nothing I can do. I just have to fall. I, I just have to see it through, right? And so step three, wow, I did it. Now let's try it again. So as you can see, this whole process gave me confidence. This isn't the first try, you know? It's after multiple, multiple failed attempts at trying to just make contact with that ledge. I fell a lot. I got hurt a lot. I bled. I got bruises on my knees, but I finally did it. And that gave me the confidence to try it again and again. And that's how you get better at anything, right? But specifically how I get better at skating. Here's the final one. Number four, roller skating builds community. I think one of my favorite parts about skating is the friendships that I make along the way. I meet people on all skill levels of skating. I meet a lot of roller skaters, skateboarders, rollerbladers, and they're all really friendly, nice people. And we all teach each other things and that builds community, it builds friendship. So I think that's really important and that really does improve my state of well-being. That's me there with some of my friends, we're skating. This is a text message from my friend Yasmina. This picture is pretty funny because we went skating and <laughs> we were trying to teach each other tricks, but we didn't know the names of the tricks. So we're just kind of bullshitting and trying stuff and 
after the skate session, she sent me this text saying she told me wrong information. So whatever trick she was trying to teach me, I think she said the name wrong. So <laughs> I guess I was trying to learn a soul grind. And she was like, actually, this is a soul grind and sent a picture of her feet doing the move. And I thought that was pretty cute. It says skating with other people lifts my mood and shows me how sweet life can be. My friends make me laugh when I fall, encourage me when I'm doubtful, and films cool clips of me at the skate park. And then the next page here shows roller skate anatomy. And this picture I actually got from a brochure at Pigeon Skate Shop in Long Beach. And it shows all the parts of your skate. And I <laughs> did something kind of corny. It shows all these parts of the skate, right? So I glued this in here and then under. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny reading it back. But it says, don't forget the most important part, friendship. Just making a little joke that one of the parts, you know, of the skate is friendship. And so that was my final point. And it concludes with a little summary about my skating journey and why it's titled I Choose You. The pros of skating far exceed the physical. The best thing skating has ever taught me is the power of self-love. Over the years, I have skated through health scares, breakups, deaths, and job changes. No matter the state of my environment, putting on my skates brings me right back to love, love, love. Love for the pals I make, love for skating, love for me. And it shows baby me with my first pair of skates. These are rollerblades, <laughs> but that was my first pair of skates when I was a kid. So it shows me getting skates as a kid, trying it out, skating here and there. And then it shows me as an adult now and how I skate frequently. And then this last page here, which is just the back cover, it has a skating playlist. I always tend to listen to music when I skate and I think a lot of other skaters can relate to that too. So I included a skating playlist. I thought that it would just be a fun little thing to share my music taste and things that I skate to. So if you wanna look at that, it's all here. And it is another collage. I just took some post-it notes, wrote down each song, and then there is some music notes back here. I found an old vintage piece of uh, junk paper and it had some music notes on it. I thought it'd be cool to rip it up and put it in the background because I am talking about music. Well, that's how it concludes. And oh yeah, it says Zine Club issue number 10 because I did submit this for the essay contest, but I also wanted to further share it with people that support me. So I uploaded it to my Zine Club on Patreon and they were able to read this. I have about a hundred Zine Club members that got to read this before um, anybody else. So it, it's, it was very exciting to be able to share with them. I never really got to tell them that the whole purpose of it was to get into the skate camp, but now they know if they're watching this. Hope I don't bum you guys out, but the unfortunate part is that I didn't get to go. So I got into skate camp. I was so excited, but then a family emergency popped up and I wasn't able to actually go. So it was a bummer, but this zine still lives, you know? It's It had its purpose to be entered into this contest, which I won and I was happy about and excited for. So that was its main purpose, but it lives on now because I'm sharing it with you. My zine club got to see it and it, I hope, inspires anybody else that sees it. So zines live forever. This doesn't have to die. I can make copies of it if I want to, but I, I really like sharing it with you guys. I hope that you guys liked it. So that's the zine. I just really wanted to be able to show off the zine that I made for skate camp essay contest, just as a way to show you that you can really make zines about anything. To me, making the zine instead of an essay was just something that was gonna, sorry, I got a text message. It was something that just was dying to pour out of me just as an artist. I was like, okay, essays are boring, but I really wanna go to the skate camp, but can I really sit down and focus on making an essay? Maybe, but why, 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 why should I do that when I I could do something more fun that would not only entertain me but the people reading it. I think taking creative risks is really important. Whether it turns out in your favor or not, you took the risk so you're like, hey, I'm still alive. Nothing happened to me. Maybe I'm embarrassed. Maybe I didn't get into skate camp or win the contest or win the money or whatever, but I did something that I was dying to do, something that was just calling out for me to do, and I was brave. I was brave. With your art, you should take risks you know, 
I'm not suggesting you be reckless. Definitely use your discretion. With this, I felt like skating and zine making goes hand in hand. It's very DIY, it's very punk. I felt like it's very creative. Roller skating has a lot of style. And I wanted to be able to show them something that reflects a skater. Essays are for tests and it's anxiety ridden. And I was like, skating is fun. And I wanted to be able to reflect that in my work. This was something that was very important to me. Zines are also very important to me. So I just figured why not mix the two and hope for the best, at least in the end, no matter what the outcome is, I was being authentic and I was having fun. So thanks for going behind the zines with me. I really enjoyed being able to read that for you guys. I hope that you walk away or click away with some further insight about zines and zine making, my personal process. I thought that was really fun. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.